What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna prove to you guys that everything's better with a little bacon. Bacon. Traditionally, ordering bacon is basically a weight loss death sentence. Lots of fat, not enough protein. Overall, it ain't doing our bodies any good. But today, we're gonna take two different foods, bacon and grilled cheese. We're gonna slap them together to create something truly epic and something that'll fit right into your diet. If the idea of eating ridiculous food and still losing weight has the gears in your brain a turning, then I'm telling a watch to the end of this video because it just might change your life. And if you want the ultimate anabolic guidebook in your pocket, that way you can eat foods you enjoy while slimming down, building a little muscle, overall being a little more sexy, then don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description box with every single recipe from the channel broken down and easy to use guide. Plus, if you get it once, you get every future recipe that I have for free, which uh, is a heck of a deal. Link down below if you want to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bacon is not going to wrap and fry itself. Let's get this thing going. First things first, we're making a grill cheese we need ourselves the right bread I'm gonna be using this 40 calorie a slice pepperidge farms it's good stuff you're gonna save calories you're gonna save carbs and you don't got to feel guilty about eating this bread you eat too much of the other stuff you'll end up on public display behind glass in your local zoo you don't want that you don't want to be an animal for other people's amusement use this bread you're gonna be in a good place we're gonna start by grabbing a toaster tossing our bread inside and giving it a quick toast And once we got that bread toasted, we'll sit it on a cutting board. And then now we need to apply the secret sauce. I'm gonna grab this cinnamon swirl crunch and a butter. Oh lord, get me a big ol' heaping spoon. Then I'm gonna spread it on the bread to make this grilled cheese immaculate. Actually, I'm kidding, I'm messing with you. But what's not a joke is that and a butter drops tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central. We got the cookies and cream and we got the white chocolate cinnamon swirl crunch. Just like the and bars, we're trying to take over an industry. This is gonna be the best tasting spread you've ever had. Mark my words, dropping tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central code RGF10, as always, will save you some money, and I guarantee these uh, sell out. Really quick, we have very limited inventory, so if you wanna try these, you gotta be there or be square. The only thing I'm gonna warn you about is don't put it on your grilled cheese, uh, unless you're a savage, then maybe that's something you're into. I'm not here to judge. Appreciate the support as always. Now, let's get back to the bacon. So at this point, with the grilled cheese, we need to make sure we're using the right cheese. And what I have is fat-free American cheese. We get five grams of protein per slice, and you can consistently find this at Walmart. So the real question is, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Because if you can answer that question, that's the amount of cheese we need. A one, a two, a three. Yeah, perfect. Once we got the cheese, we'll seal her up. And then now it's time for the bacon, but we're not using any regular old bacon. We need some turkey bacon. And we're gonna need roughly eight slices. So I'm gonna move the sandwich out of the way and I'm gonna lay out eight of our slices. I'm gonna make them kind of overlap. Not too much, but a little bit. Boom, boom, and nice. Now I'm just gonna sit the sandwich right in the middle and we're gonna fold our bacon up over. Boom, we are cooking with gas now. I'm gonna take my other four slices of turkey bacon, overlap them, lay them down again. Then I'm just gonna set our sandwich right in the middle. We're gonna fold the bacon up over one more time. You might need to use your hands a bit to kind of hold it in place, but don't worry. We'll seal the deal when we cook it. All right, that looks good to me right there. Now, we're gonna preheat a large skillet to medium heat, give it a little bit of nonstick, just a little bit. And then all we wanna do is take our bacon wrapped grilled cheese seam side down and let it cook for about three minutes on this side. That'll lock in those flaps, we'll flip it. And basically after seven, eight minutes, she's gonna be good to go. And boom, baby. This thing is smelling phenomenal. Now let's take a knife, cut her open, and see what's inside. Let's do a little corner to corner action. Mm, wazinga. And oh, 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 baby. That's what I call right on the money. Ladies and gentlemen, just take a look at this. We got the toasted bread, the melted cheese, all wrapped in crispy bacon. We basically took two of the most popular food groups, smashed them together like a head-on car collision that left 10 people mortally wounded. And what we're left with is something truly magical and something that's not gonna derail your diet or cause your significant other to drain the bank account, take the kids, and move to Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you could for me, hit that thumbs up button, comment anything down below, what you thinking, what you stinking. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and before this gets cold let's go give her a shot 
All right, ladies and germs, let's get down to business. But first, if you are in dire need of a new wardrobe to go with the new body that you're building, don't forget you can check out Young LA Apparel, which at this juncture of my life is quite literally all I'm wearing. It. Right now I have on the ultimate hybrid tee, plain black tee, subtle branding on the sleeve with the perfect fit in the chest and shoulders, loose down bottom, and I'm pairing that with the kickback joggers, extremely comfy, pockets for your keys, your phone, wallet pockets, the perfect lifestyle brand. And if you guys wanna be dope, you wanna feel good, you wanna have amazing, clothes that you can wear out to impress the date, impress your gym teacher, impress your therapist, then head on over to youngla.com, use code RJF, and I'm telling you, not only are you gonna save money by using that code, but you're gonna get some amazing apparel that's gonna make you feel good, look good, and when you are doing those two things and you combine that with following this diet and getting results, it's gonna elevate your life up into the stratosphere and beyond. You'll be talking to aliens soon, and that's all thanks to the apparel. So youngla.com, code RJF, you're gonna love it. I'm telling you that, you gotta trust me. Now, let's move into the bacon wrap grilled cheese. I mean, you guys already see what we got here. We got the bacon, we got the cheese, we got the bread. Did I mention that we got bacon? Three, two, one, let go. Mm. This is unlike anything I've ever had before, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's essentially a grilled cheese sandwich with an absolute heck ton of bacon. Like dad always said, ain't nothing wrong with a little bacon. Thicker the cut, the better. Mm. Now in this entire bacon wrapped grilled cheese sandwich, what we have for the whole thing is only 421 calories, 21 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, with zero grams of fiber. For a grilled cheese sandwich wrapped in bacon, we're gonna call that a 10 out of 10 win. It's boss status, bitch. And I'm gonna be able to fit this right into my diet for the day, but if you wanted to, let's say, add even more protein to this, literally just add more cheese. Every one of those slices, only 30 calories, five grams of protein. So if you're a little behind on protein or you wanna ramp this up at the next level, a few slices of that cheese goes a long way. And just like a dog, dry humping his favorite toy, we are down to the final bite. Let's send her home. Mm. That was an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, easy 10 out of 10 recipe. It's a grilled cheese wrapped in bacon. If it got anything less than a 10, I think that's being dishonest. Easy, full of flavor, fits right into your diet, unique and ridiculous all at the same time. What more could you ask for? If you end up making this, tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. And if you got the official dieting doesn't have to suck cookbook, which is available at the first link in my description box. It has been updated, so this recipe is now in there. Along with every other recipe on the channel, over 250 pages filled with gut red Wrenching, body altering, gender swapping, just kidding. Physique enhancing recipes that you don't wanna miss. If you got it, I appreciate you. If you don't, what are you waiting for, baby? Hit that link down below to check it out. You won't regret it. All right, people, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget tomorrow, the 17th at 3 p.m. Central, we got Anna Butter dropping, baby. We're gonna change the world with these and you wanna make sure you're there because if you're not, they're gonna sell out and you're gonna be mad at me, which I don't know why people still get mad at So It's not my fault it's sold out. Blame the other YouTube commenters, that ain't me but I'm doing my best out here. I'm doing my best. It ain't my fault. But if you guys show up, man, to try these out, I'll appreciate the heck out of you. And plus, all the Anna bars will be restocking as well. So uh, those have been sold out for a minute too. So all that stuff will be back Thursday, 3 p.m. Central. You don't want to miss it, man. And with that, we are out of here. Y'all rock. Thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you with the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh, peel off some of that cheese, son.